I think Hello World was like a lot of experimenting. I just wanted to put as much as I could into it. Like, hey, I could do this. You know, I could also sing like this and I can rap like this and this cadence and, you know, bar out, but also be mellow. You just like really just throwing everything out. Just cause like, that's what my dad told me. He was like, when you put out something or the first thing you put out, just make sure you, at the current moment, you show them everything that you could possibly do. Just so like, if one person hears one song that, that becomes a catalyst for you making it, that song was on there. So so literally I was like, I wanted it to be cohesive, but I was literally just throwing everything, you know, into it just to see what, what sticks. And then for Soul Glitch, that one was like one specific mood. And I was in New York, headphones, it was cold, it was winter. I had these beats, I, you know, I'm just like depressed, typing emails like, yo, send me beats, I'm trying to finish my EP, man. <laughs> just like doing that for like weeks and just like getting beats and like low key, I was not extremely happy. Just like going to school every day, it was like the coldest winter in New York. I was like, all right, it's time to make this EP and finish it and literally start to finish did the whole thing it's like i wanted everything to sound like they were part of the same thing and when it was done it, it was a completely different thing to hello world it's like one mood like one style one way of singing one way of like going about it like and that's completely different than all the stuff i did before i made the song save my soul and it was originally like not not the version you hear now it was like on a different beat like a demo of it that one like when i heard that song i was like whoa this is better than like everything i had done before and that was like pretty much the the whole like template like if i can make us another song like this then we have something so i was like okay i'm gonna try to beat it and make another one like that and i had like another song and i was like okay now make another one that i had easy i was like okay let's try another one then first glitch and it's like the whole things just came with me trying to beat the song save my soul the demo i had and that's kind of like what formed it it's funny a lot of the producers in soul glitch i've never met in person and i've never had like much human interaction with besides like yo you cool with this beat being on my ep and they're like yeah and i'm like okay cool it's on the ep now check it out here <laughs> like it's it's like minimal interaction i guess it's kind of the way the internet is but i really like wanted to like reach out to people and kind of build and stuff but like a lot of it is your there were a lot of European producers on there and a lot of them, there was like a language barrier and they didn't really get what I was saying and I didn't really understand. So it was just like, let's just get the music out. We mesh musically and let's do that. I think the big thing with me is that with each thing, I wanted to have like, especially after Soul Glitch, to have a specific sound. So Soul Glitch was kind of like the, you know, electronic, like beat heavy stuff that kind of like that European like niche had. I've kind of moved on to like, you know, different stuff. Like with the newest song I put out, Finish Line, that sounds different, you know, and it's going into its own direction. And now I'm working with like a lot of producers out in LA for that stuff, yeah. I make the beat and I'm playing it for Cole. I made this last night and I could always see as soon as he heard it, it was like this little look in his eye like, I need that, but he didn't say it, he didn't say it. So creating 11.11 was one of my most spiritual moments when it comes to creating music because of what it meant to me at the time as well as what it meant to me moving forward even. I think the biggest thing that Lupe showed me like in the whole rap game and the music industry was to be true to yourself as an artist, to make sure that you always keep consistency, to have that constant message and to never lose track of the message. Things have to change about what we understand about why things are happening, you know what I'm saying? What we understand about why poverty is happening, what we understand about why hoods on the South side kind of resemble each other and look the same and people are downtrodden for the same reasons. People can't find jobs for the same reasons and people get locked up for the same, like there's, a, it's systematic, like it's a system. 